Quantum physics may seem like a concept from a distant universe, but it's closer to home than you might think. Let's embark on a journey to a realm where the rules of classical physics take a back seat, a realm that's not far away in some distant galaxy, but right here, right now, at the microscopic level of our world. Welcome to the world of quantum physics. Quantum physics, in essence, is the study of the very small. It's a branch of science that delves into the intriguing behavior of particles at the atomic and subatomic level. But don't let the word small fool you, because the implications of quantum physics are anything but. Now, imagine a game of chess. Each piece on the board, whether it's the king, queen, or a pawn, has an array of possible moves it can make. Until a move is made, the piece holds the potential for all those moves. It's a world of possibilities, awaiting the player's choice. This is a bit like quantum particles. Quantum particles can exist in multiple states at once, much like a chess piece can have multiple potential moves. This is due to a principle called superposition. Until a measurement is made, these particles exist in all their possible states simultaneously. It's only when we measure a particle that we see it in one specific state, just as only when a chess move is made do we see the piece in a new position. This is the wonder and mystery of quantum physics. It challenges our everyday intuition and opens up a world where particles can be in multiple places at once, can spin in two directions at the same time, and can even affect each other instantly over vast distances. So, just as a chess piece holds the potential for many moves, quantum particles hold the potential for many states. Welcome to the world of quantum physics, a world where the impossible becomes possible and where our curiosity is forever awakened. Have you ever tried to be in two places at once? Quantum particles can do just that. Let's simplify this by using an analogy. Imagine you're standing in front of two doors. You can only walk through one door at a time, right? Well, in the quantum world, things work a little differently. Picture a quantum particle as a mini version of you, standing in front of two slits or doors. Now, if we fire this particle towards these doors, something fascinating happens. Instead of choosing one door as you or I would have to, the quantum particle takes both routes simultaneously. It's as if it splits into two, goes through both doors, and then merges back together on the other side. This is what's known as the double slit experiment, and it's one of the most mind-boggling demonstrations of quantum mechanics. In the early 20th century, physicists shot tiny particles, like electrons or photons, at a barrier with two slits. They expected these particles to behave like tiny bullets, passing through one slit or the other. But what they found was entirely different. When they looked at the impact pattern on the other side, it wasn't just two distinct marks as you'd expect from bullets. Instead, there was an interference pattern, as if waves had passed through both slits and overlapped, creating areas of constructive and destructive interference. This suggested that each particle didn't just go through one slit or the other, but somehow it went through both slits at the same time. It's as if each particle interfered with itself. This is a phenomenon that remains one of the most intriguing aspects of quantum mechanics. Now, you might be thinking, how can something be in two places at once? It defies our everyday logic, doesn't it? But that's the beauty of the quantum world. It challenges our understanding of reality and pushes the boundaries of what we consider possible. Just like you can imagine walking through two doors at once, quantum particles can actually be in two places at once. Imagine if you could instantly know what your best friend is thinking, no matter how far apart you are that's quantum entanglement for you. Picture this. You and your best friend each have a coin. You both flip your coins at the same time. No matter how many times you do this, the outcome is always the same. If your coin lands heads up, your friend's coin lands tails up, and vice versa. It's as if the coins are connected, communicating instantly, no matter the distance between them. This is the essence of quantum entanglement. Now let's take this concept and apply it to the world of quantum particles. In the quantum realm, particles don't have defined states until they're measured. So before you flip your quantum coin, it's both heads and tails at the same time. But once you flip it, it chooses a state, either heads or tails. Here's where it gets even more interesting. If your quantum coin and your friend's quantum coin are entangled, 
the moment you measure your coin and it chooses a state, your friend's coin instantly chooses the opposite state. It doesn't matter if your friend is in the next room or on a distant planet. The information is shared instantly. This is not just theoretical. Experiments have confirmed this behavior, and it's one of the most baffling aspects of quantum physics. It seems to defy our understanding of how information can travel. So, how do these particles become entangled in the first place? Well, it often happens when particles are created at the same time and place, or when they interact in certain ways. Once entangled, they remain connected until something breaks the entanglement, like measuring one of the particles. But don't worry if this sounds a bit mind-boggling. Even Albert Einstein referred to quantum entanglement as spooky action at a distance. It's a concept that continues to challenge our understanding of the universe and the laws that govern it. Just as best friends can know each other's thoughts, entangled quantum particles share information instantly. Imagine if a coin could be both heads and tails at the same time. Welcome to the world of quantum superposition. Quantum superposition is a fundamental principle of quantum mechanics, and it's as fascinating as it sounds. Let's take a moment to understand this through a simple analogy of a spinning coin. When you flip a coin, it spins in the air before it lands on either heads or tails. But while it's spinning, we can think of it as being both heads and tails at the same time. It's only when it lands, or we catch it, that it becomes one or the other. This is a bit like quantum superposition. In the quantum realm, particles can exist in multiple states at once. An electron, for instance, could be in two places simultaneously. It's only when we measure or observe it that it chooses one state over the other, much like the spinning coin choosing heads or tails when it lands. This concept might sound baffling because it defies the rules of our everyday macroscopic world. Here, a coin can't be both heads and tails simultaneously. A car can't be both parked and driving at the same time. But in the quantum world, these rules don't apply. Particles can and do exist in multiple states at once, thanks to superposition. Superposition is the secret behind the enormous potential of quantum computing. Traditional computers use bits that can be either zero or one. Quantum computers, however, use quantum bits or qubits that can be both zero and one at the same time, thanks to superposition. This allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of information far more quickly than traditional computers. But remember, the quantum world is a strange and wonderful place, full of phenomena that seem impossible in our everyday world. Quantum superposition is just one of these phenomena, a glimpse into a world where the usual rules of either or don't apply. Just as a spinning coin could land on heads or tails, quantum particles can exist in multiple states at once. Quantum physics might sound like science fiction, but it's very much a part of our reality. It's a realm where particles can be in two places at once, exist in all states simultaneously until observed, and affect each other instantaneously, no matter the distance. It's a universe that lives right under our noses, influencing our everyday lives in ways we're just beginning to comprehend. Let's take a moment to revisit the main points we've covered. We began our journey with quantum states, the heart of quantum mechanics. These states are the different conditions a quantum system can be in, and unlike classical systems, a quantum system can be in a superposition of states, a blend of all possible states at once until we observe it. Then we dived into the double-slit experiment, a classic demonstration of quantum oddity. This experiment showed us that particles like electrons and photons can behave like waves when not observed, passing through two slits simultaneously, but act like particles when we're watching, passing through one slit or the other. We then unraveled the enigma of quantum entanglement, a phenomenon where two particles become interconnected, mirroring each other's behavior instantaneously, regardless of the distance separating them. It defies our understanding of space and time, and yet, it's a fundamental aspect of the quantum world. Finally, we discussed quantum superposition, the mind-bending idea that a quantum particle can exist in multiple states at once until observed. Much like Schrodinger's cat, which is both alive and dead until we look inside the box, a quantum particle is all things at once until we take a peek. But why does all this matter? 
Well, understanding quantum physics paves the way for advancements in technology, medicine, and science. It's the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe, from the tiniest particles to the vast expanses of space. So next time you flip a coin or play a game of chess, remember, you're not so different from a quantum particle.